Third graders, I'm here with Chris, the scientist, and he is being nice and allowing me to ask him a few questions that you hear a scientist's perspective, thoughts on these questions. The first question, Chris, why did you become a scientist? Hello, third graders. I guess I became a scientist because I'm really fascinated by understanding how everything works. I want to know the answers to everything. I don't like puzzles. So when I see animals living in the wild and I see their ecosystems and the environments they live in, I want to know how they got that way, why they're there, that way, who lives there, what species are there, how the trees grow, the habitats that that creates, the nutrient cycles, the weather patterns that affect it all. And I really want to just understand all the different things that I see around me so that there's, so that there's no mystery, really. Great. Why do you care so much about animals? I care about animals because I, I like to relate to animals, really. I've always had pets and different animals, and I believe that we can learn a lot from looking at animals. Animals are never mean. They're always kind. They never do things to be deliberately hurtful. They always look after their own interests, but they never set out to be destructive. Human beings can be destructive. We destroy things simply because we can, but animals are always a lot more careful, and I think they deserve respect and interest. And Mammals in particular, the furry sort of animals that we would have as pets, they're really clever, they, they're intelligent, they do all kinds of different behaviours, and it's kind of neat to try and understand why they're doing the things that they do, and what they get out of it, how they interact with one another, and how we can then interact with them. Thank you. And what about one interesting fact about Lycos? Lycos? is probably the laziest dog I've ever known. Lycus will happily spend 20 hours plus per day asleep, ideally on our bed. Uh, he's very picky with his food. He does enjoy all the table scraps he gets when we have these teams of people helping us with our research. He doesn't like his dog food, uh, so he's not a really good eater. Uh, but he does enjoy going out for his walks. And as soon as you pick up his leash, he runs to the car as quickly as he can. Wow, thank you so much, Chris the Scientist, over and out.